Okay, hi everybody, or, you know, anybody who is here. I am playing some Smackdown today. I think I'm just gonna play just some, like, random stuff. Um, if anybody has any real interest, maybe I can start, like, a online season mode, perhaps? Uh, right now I'm just kind of just playing around, doing some random stuff in the game. Uh, well, if I'm going to play SmackDown, I think the first person I have to be is The Rock. He coined the term SmackDown, so, you know, it kind of goes without saying that I have to be The Rock. Uh, during my playtesting of my stream, I beat the tar out of Trish Stratus, and it's not very nice to beat up on a woman, but they kind of make you do that in this game. It's a little weird. I'm going to fight... Let's fight Rikishi. It'll be the Battle of the Samoans. We're gonna fight Takishi, Takishi, Rikishi in a table match. I have to put Rikishi through a table, which is gonna be quite the accomplishment. He's a very large man. I have three drinks at my table today. If you smell what the Rock is cooking. Look at these. Look at this amazing entrance. We have come a long way, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and his smushy face. They probably scanned his face and just went on the model. There you go. Have a smushy rock face. It's good enough, right? Oh, yeah. Get ready for Rikishi. Does he oh, yeah. The booty first, smells the fingers. I guess that's what he's doing. Better he's waving his nose. I think we've seen about everything we need to see with Rikishi coming to the ring. I'm excited. I'm excited. Come on, start the match. I'm ready for the fight. I am ready to take on Rikishi. Oh, yeah, took him to. Uh, uh. Oh, that's the one thing I do hate about The Rock. He's got got the weird leg stamp. He does a little, does a little twitch. Shake a leg kick. Shake a leg kick. Ow. Jerk. Rock, get up. Oh, uh, no. Rikishi, put the table down. You don't want to end this match already. Put the table down. Put the, Rikishi, put the table down. Rikishi. That's the way I have to get you to put the table down? Fine, so be it. Russian leg sweep. Can I jump onto the table in this game? I can. Dive on Rikishi! Oh, double axe handle smash on the ground! Now I'm gonna try and take his legs out, put him in a sharpshooter, which, you know, that's an absolute rocks terrible at doing the sharpshooter. Or the uh, scorpion death. Wow, okay, push me across the ring, good lord. Can I? No, I can't. Can I? Can I grab the stairs? No, I can't grab the stairs. That's alright. It's like I just wanna try and create damage so I can weaken him up. I feel like, if I remember this game correctly, you can actually set the table up in a corner. That is very impressive, Rock, that you were able to lift Rikishi into a superplex. That is really impressive. But no, if I remember correctly, you can set the table in the corner, and you can essentially just, like, throw them through the table in the corner, which is really kind of cheap, but if you're facing a really tough opponent, it makes the match quicker and way easier. Okay, there we go. Atomic drop! Oh, well, I'll do that. Pfft, knee drop! Yeah, let's keep trying to take out his legs. Even though there is no body hurting system in this yet. Like, you can't target limbs or anything in this game yet. Hey, get away from me. Can I... Ha! No! Get away! Wait, you fell off the table. I gotta try to remember how to do all this crap. Oh, no. It's almost time. It's almost time for the most electrifying move in sports entertainment today. Get up, Rock. You can't can't pin. I don't know that was a sunset flip. I wouldn't have done that. What other moves do I have? <gasps> the running bulldog. Or the running bow dog. Oh, well, thanks for making it. I appreciate it. Mine's not going to be anything nearly as exciting as uh, Mass Effect, but, you know. But, you know, today is, today is stream Saturday. You had a stream, I had a stream. Everybody's watching the Pokemon streams. Nobody's, nobody's watching us. Nobody's watching us. We're not important yet. Can I get this? Yes, I knew I could get the stairs. I just couldn't remember. Wow, that is a huge stair. 
and drop the stairs. Rock, keep holding. Don't make me keep picking up the stairs. Oh, you had to unmute. I'm not. I'm not saying welcome again, just because you don't know how to do stuff. All right. I, I said hello once. And that's plenty. So I was playing with my audio levels and stuff because I have them pretty much set for Twitch. <laughs> I will be that way. Don't worry about it. But <laughs> I have everything set for Twitch. How's the? Uh, are the audio levels pretty good here? I want. I want another. I want an outsider opinion. The silence of waited delay to hear a response from stuff. It's my favorite. Right? No, you can't. I'll just chuck the table. Right? Yeah! Wow! I got some real length on that throw. Rock, how do I get out of the ring again? There we go. Okay. Get down. Hmm. Maybe I can. Can I do that in here? No, I can't. Alright, maybe I'll play with that. Uh, after the match. Let's see if I can uh, get it set up so I'll maybe even turn off the music. I, I mean, more or less, I'm just concerned that you can actually hear me. Because the last couple times I streamed, it was almost impossible to hear anything I was saying. So, I'm fine with uh, if you can hear me. Try and throw that into the ring. Work. Get off me. Oh, this has been a pretty one-sided match thus far. Uh, as you can see, I have um, two power-ups ready to go, aka finishers. I'm trying to... Uh, no. Oh, I know what I should have done. Get up. Get up. It's time for the rock bottom! Rock bottom! Rock bottom! My god, it's over! Oh, it's not over. It's not over because he's about to perform the most electric move in sports entertainment today. That's right, everybody. It's the people's elbow! What? All right, now I just have to try and remember how to actually get, or I can deliver another rock bottom. You know, just to really, really deliver it home that I'm going to win this match. Get onto the table. Yes, yes, rock bottom. Oh, he canceled it and knocked me out of the ring. No, put the table down. The table is not for you. <laughs> the crowd goes moderately upset from the looks of it, really. They're, they're all kind of, you know, they're all pretty uh, stationary. They're pretty static. They're not really... Well, seems we've come to an impasse here. Oh, bye. Can, can you... Alright, all right. can I leave the ring with the... Yes, I can. Just stop. Just get on the table. Get... No. Ah, set the table down. Okay, good. Rikishi, come to me. Come, come to me, Rikishi. No, you can't leave. You must come to me. Get onto the table. Can I, can I do it? Yes! It is over! I put him through the table. I've won the match. Can you smell what he's cooking? Can you smell what he's cooking? He's cooking victory. And it's delicious. Now it's going to ask me if I want to save the game, I think. And I'll say sure. Yeah, I want to save the data. I'm unbeatable. Alright, I'm probably beatable, but... I think this was recording that I haven't lost yet, because... You know, I haven't played it in a long time. Ah, alright, let's see, where's... There we go, options. I, uh, I don't know if there's skill points and stuff in this. It's been so long since I've played it. It's not like the newer games where that really happens. Background. Oh, wow. Now there's, like, no music. But I guess you can at least hear me, uh, beating people up now. If nothing else. I mean, does anybody really want to hear the stock music. I will put all the points in the magic missile and then I will fire at the darkness. Because that is the most effective use of magic missile, is firing at the darkness. Yeah, I'll save it. I don't want to have to redo my thing. I keep smacking my table. 
So I'm sure you keep, you keep hearing all the clunk, clunk. And by table, I guess I should mean desk. Because, well, it's technically a, a table still, but it's designed to be a desk. So, it's, uh, it's pretty gravy. My cords are all tangled. Here we go. Alright, let's go into, uh, let's go to exhibition again. Oh, you're deaf, I'm sorry. Well, I'm, you know. I'll, I'll try and clunk louder then. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see, so we just did a table match. What else do we have? Got a casket match. Cage match is kind of boring. Hell in a Cell. Saving that in case more people show up. I like to, you know, I want to, like, show off. It's, I think it's probably one of the funner matches. Funner. Oh, fun, funner, funnest. Those, only one of those is words. Um, no, I think it's one of the better designs in this game. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's do a casket match. It's pretty, uh, pretty forward. You just, uh, you try and put your opponent into a casket. If I'm going to do that, I think I need to be the Undertaker. The guy that kind of, you know, set the example for the table, or not table, casket matches. <laughs> you, why? Don't you... I, I would like to leave hell in a cell. I don't want to hang out. Hey, Grandmaster Sexay, I, uh, I met him at a comic book convention last year. Uh, didn't know it was him until uh, afterwards. He was walking around the convention, and I was like, wow, that guy is really, really buff and really big. And then we met Jerry the King Lawler, and he came over and talked to him, and I was like, oh, so he knows Jerry Lawler. That's cool. And then it turns out that that was his son, uh, Brian Christopher, if I remember his name correctly, who was Grandmaster Sex A. So I, you know, shook his hand and was like, got a picture with him, and I was like, oh, you know, cool, thanks. And it was kind of cool seeing somebody that I remember watching and wrestling. So that was pretty cool. And it was also really neat when I met Jerry the King Lawler. I basically just stood there in silence. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I didn't think Limp Biscuit's Rollin' would bid this. I was definitely in awe. It was just one of those moments where I've watched him since I was like 10 years old. And I still watch wrestling now. And it was really super cool when I saw he was going to be there. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to talk to him and be like, you know, I love all your jokes, I love how you react to stuff. And said it was like I walked up and it was like, Hi, hi, you're someone. Okay, I have to go now, bye. So in my head, in my head I'm really cool, but in real life I'm stupid. Haha. -ha. Choking him out. Choke. Which is what he's going to do in this match as well. He's going to choke. And he's going to lose. First DDT. What else can I do to you? Well, every time I go to meet somebody like I really like or something like that, I'm always like, okay, this time I'm not going to be super nervous. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to jump out of the ring apparently. But I'm like, no, I'm not going to be super nervous and I'm going to meet this person and it's going to be a great experience. And instead it's, I'm just going to mumble and sound stupid and I just am sad because I mean I'm sure they have like a thousand people come up to them and be like oh you're my hero you're my inspiration and usually by the time I actually get up to meet that person I'm like do they really want to hear for like the 50,000th time today that uh, they're my inspiration and stuff like that there's no escape from me you can run outside I'm still gonna jump onto you Choke him out. <laughs> Prepare a joke? Yes, that's what I want to do. I want to embarrass myself further and just be like, knock, knock, who's there? Me waiting for an autograph. Uh, I'm sorry. 
I'll never. You're getting me kicked out. All right. Have a have a nice day. Poor Edge. He he can't he can't keep up with this. Last ride. Bah! It'll be memorable for them. Yes, I'll be the person that they go home and go, listen to what this freak did. He tried to tell me a joke, made no sense, embarrassed himself. I win. <laughs> that was, uh... I never even really explained what the match was, and it's already over. Basically, you seal him in a casket, and I, I did that. Yeah, I'll save my data again. Hey, right, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna do... I'm just gonna... Uh-oh. Why did she say uh-oh? What happened? Is she, is she sad that I won? <laughs> did she want Edge to win? Is she an Edgehead? Alright, let's go back to special. I'm just gonna do a Hell in a Cell. Hopefully, hopefully this works out as well as it did earlier. Uh, I think I'm gonna be the Undertaker again. I like the Undertaker. He's not my favorite. Probably my favorite. Probably my favorite wrestler in this game. Probably is The Rock. But I like the Undertaker's move set a little bit more. It's all power based, so he can kind of take out people a little bit quicker. Uh, let's have him fight the boss. Let's have him fight Vince McMahon. The Rock is the people's champ. The Rock is the most electrifying superstar in the WWE, because it's no longer the WWF, patent pending, or whatever that whole World Wildlife Foundation suing thing was about. But yeah, he's basically... I, I think it basically goes by tier of... You have Hulk Hogan at the very top, and then underneath that, I would say The Rock. God, their faces are so smushy. Although, hey, for a PlayStation 1 game, it's not too bad, right? It's not, it's not too bad. It could be worse. These load screens, they're so awkward. <laughs> they're just, hey, it's, it's black. Ugh. Undertaker tripped. First mistake of the match. Did not tie his boots. Alright, Vince, what are you doing? Well, we're leaving the cell, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, it, it's supposed to be a closed-in cell, but I quickly, quickly proved that there is no cage that is going to contain my rage. For, despite all my rage, I am still an Undertaker outside of a cage now. Vince, up here. Yeah, I'm just gonna celebrate while you're down there talking. Now I threaten to thr slit your throat. Do it again. One more time for good measure. Come on, Vince. Come up here, man. Don't be scared. Just climb up here. Climb up here. Climb up here so we can fight. Don't you dare get back in the ring. You're supposed to get up here with me. Thank you. I, uh, I can't really... Well, I mean, climbing on top of a cage is always awesome. But I can't even take credit for that poem like that that's just me ripping off smashing pumpkins but all right come on come over here look i'm taunting you i'm taunting you oh punched him so hard he spun around he was not ready for that huh turns out after playing as the rock and now playing as him their move sets are pretty similar actually just the uh the strengths are a little different Mainly, I just want to have the uh, the finisher that I need. Thank you. I, I appreciate that you can pretend, and we will tell we will tell no one that I didn't uh, come up with that, except it's recorded and it'll be up on YouTube, and everybody will know that I didn't actually say it. And I stole it, so I apologize. Okay, come on, come on. That's right, right here. Let's see if I can set this up right. This is kind of a pain, but if I do it, it's going to be awesome. And if I can do it on the first try, it'll be even more awesome. <laughs> Edit in all the hokey music. I'll just use some of my uh, favorite music I have 
that I like to use at the end of my videos. I missed entirely. Daggum. You have to get you have to get them in just the perfect position for what I'm trying to do. And it's not I mean it's pretty easy. I used to be able to do this all the time when I used to play this game because I used to just find out every single area that you could manipulate and do stuff in. Like I can't remember if it's this game. I'll try it out later. Well, I mean, who doesn't hate when their crotch gets stomped on? Let's be realistic. I don't know, well, I think there are some freaks in the world, I suppose, but... Choking Vince! Choking the boss! Give me my raise! Give it to me! Undertaker wrestles like once a year now. He probably makes five, six million dollars probably just for wrestling. That one time a year, I imagine. Alright, come on. Come over here. Look, I'm taunting you. You can do what you want. Look, I can't stop you if you come hit me. No, you're too far away. Get over here. Oh god. A choke slam! But you're not in the right spot. I need you. Yes, come over here. This is where I need you, right in this area. No, don't don't do that to me. <laughs> the standing off and waiting is what's the most aggravating. Okay. I might be able to do it now. Get up, Vince. Oh, this could be it. If this is it, it's gonna be sweet! Yes! Right through the top of the cage! Give you one choke slam for good measure. And now we pin you. That's what I was trying to set up. I The first time I played this game, I didn't even know you could do that. And it happened to me on accident. And I was like, that's the greatest thing I've ever seen in a video game. But no, I can't remember if it's this one or one of the PS2 SmackDown games where you can stack tables like three or four high on each other, then put your opponent on top of the top table, go to the ring, climb on a ladder, jump from the ladder to the tables, and when you jump on them, it puts them through every table from the top to the bottom. It's, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty good pretty good my cousin and I played the game for like three or four hours just screwing around with stuff like that I'm gonna make a wrestler we're gonna I already have an idea of what I want to do my idea is America man so he's gonna be like red white and blue that's all I do know but uh, we'll we'll work out how we want him to look. We are making a uh, America man. Well, if he's gonna America man, considering we live in a morbidly obese country, or at least that's what statistics say, I think uh, I think America man needs to be fat. He needs to be a very fat man. He well, he's he's not really muscular. I mean, he's a little muscular. But look at that belly. Look at that. Look at the belly. That's that's not muscle. That's that's cheeburger. That's cheeburger and freedom right there. All right, let's back up. Let's back up. All right. Let's go to the head. Uh, no. I want to go to the advanced head. <laughs> I don't want no normal head. There's a weird like feedback sometimes in this game when I'm like doing loading and stuff so if you notice like maybe it's just on my end but there's like every once in a while there will be just like a looping noise so I kind of hope it's mainly just on my end and not on the stream because if it is I apologize it's kind of annoying we're gonna give him a big nose he likes to be able to smell the food he's got a nice round head that's good. I'm glad that this stream thus far has been very smooth. I've been able to uh, run OBS at 720p and running 30 frames and not having an issue, so I've been pretty happy about that. I tried 1080 once and 
all it did was stagger and clip. So I was like, all right, well, what about what about 720 and 60 frames? And it did the same thing. It just kept dropping frames and stuttering really bad. I like these. <laughs> I like these eyes. I don't know what it is about them, but I like them. I'm going to stick with figure types. Oh, variation. What kind of variation? I'm not noticing any variation. How about the shade? I can change the color of his eyes. Oh, a nice, nice blue, nice purple eye. How about some nice bright purple eye? Oh yeah, that is some beautiful bright purple eyes. Mouth. Can I? I just want to make him smiley. Is there any way I can find a nice smiley mouth? No, that's a frowny mouth. That's a grumpy mouth. Oh, there he is. He's smiling. <laughs> he uh. Now that you say that, yeah, he does kind of look like Sloth, and that's not what I'm going for, but it works. Let's see. Base hair. I don't know what any of these things mean. It's been so long. No. How about a nice... <laughs> Do we have a nice standard mullet in here? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I kind of like this one. That nice, uh, blonde-haired purple-eyed American. Yeah, it's nice. This is different for- oh! I like this. It's the- his head's even bigger this way. So we're gonna- we're gonna stick with- can we- not? Nah, I'm gonna leave his hair the way it is. Cause that stuff just starts looking really weird really fast. Can I give him really long hair? Oh yeah. Here we go. Gonna give him some really long hair. Some beautiful flowing locks. And, uh, let's give him a, uh, can I make it, like, let's see, we got some red, can I make it, like, oh, there we go, this is changing the, uh, I want, there we go, blue, it's a nice blue thing, it's super mullet now, man, this is the world's most mullety mullet that's ever mulleted, I wonder, I wonder if I can, actually, let's go back into hair real quick. So, can I add some hair to the front of his head? Because if I can... Okay, I can add some hair to the front of his head. So, I have an idea of what I want to do here. So, we're gonna... <gasps> white hair, perfect. Don't even have to do anything. Now, we have to go back to the base hair. So, we got the blue hair in the back. We got the white hair in the front. Guess what we gotta have in the middle? Not orange. Where is it at? Nope. I gotta go the other way. There we go. There. we Red, white, and blue hair. That is the start of Mr. America. Facial hair? I think he needs a goatee. Maybe we'll make that white so it kind of uh, goes with it. Just gotta figure out how to get to that uh, get to that white color. We're in the red. Do I take away everything and it just becomes white? I'll find there here. No, where is it at? He's he's not filthy, all right. He's he, I don't know what he is. Yeah, there we go. Nice white. He's like uh, kind of looks like a. I want to say a hip Santa right now, but I don't even think that would be normal to say. Let's give it a really, re oh, there we go. That looks like a nice little MS Paint facial hair he's got going on there. It looks like he drank a lot of milk. Uh, I don't think he needs any masks. Well, let's see what's in the accessories. Maybe there's uh, paint? Oh, if they have like an American flag or something, that will be... Uh, Perfect. No. Do we have anything? I can make them really whitewashed. That's blood, I think. No, he's not that hardcore. Whoa, blue face. He's like red, white, and blue right in the front then, but I don't like that. Mainly, I'm just trying to see if they just have an American flag just to put on his face. If they don't, then I guess we won't get any face paint. Oh, 
I can't even see the back of the head, so why would you offer that? Okay. I think... <gasps> Wait, I know what they might have. Sometimes in these games, they give you the giant America top hat. So we're going to take a look real quick. See if the giant America top hat is in this. Because he'll have red, white, and blue hair. And then the Uncle Sam hat. And he will be the most patriotic wrestler that's ever wrestled. Is that a... Probably give him the Iron Cheek head wrap. But then he won't look as American. He won't be truly American. No, they don't have it or it's locked. I'm not even sure how to unlock stuff. I might have to... I think what we'll do is... We're gonna make Mr. America. Oh, God. <laughs> that is the most beautiful hair I have ever seen in my life. It is wonderful. But no, I think once we get to making them, we will start a uh, season with him, and we will we will try and see what comes of Mr. America. What's in the tattoos here? Maybe I'll be shirtless. I don't... <laughs> I can have, like, a sad face on my tummy. I can't see the thing on the back because of my hair. Please say there's an American flag in the tattoos. That's all I really want. It's like, I might have to, uh... I got WWE 2K15 recently. Not a really great game. I'm pretty disappointed with it in comparison to the older SmackDown games. Like, I honestly would rather play this than 2K15. But, if worse comes to worse, I could always uh, make uh, Mr. America in that game, because they give you a little more creative liberty. They, don't, they have a bunch of stock stuff, but I think they also actually let you create your own stuff. Okay, it's all the same tattoos except on the other arm. I don't care about this stuff. I want... I want... Oh, there's no American flag. Alright, so we're gonna go with... Let's go to... Let's give him a shirt. I just want... Maybe I should go to t-shirts. Wait. Nah. It was pretty close to something that could have worked. No, I just want like a... Yes! That works right there. It's a blue tank top. How do we... What, what did that do? That, what did that do? Oh, he's going to be the classiest wrestler ever. Shirt and... Well, I don't know if we're going to keep the Speedo. I'm, uh, I'm hoping to find some... Some nice, like, America-looking pants. Let's see. He's got... He's got the blue shirt. <gasps> That's red, white, and blue. We gotta, we gotta do, we gotta do, how, how big can I make this? Does that look, does that look American or does that look British though? Like, nah, that's red, white, that, that's good enough for me. That's America to me. So I just gotta find that again. Was that like the second or third one down? Here it is, yep, number four. We're going to extend the full length. So he's basically wearing a shirt that barely stays on him. Well, I, I really didn't think it was the Union Jack. It just kind of has that that similar look. It's not really stars and stripes either, but it's close enough in my opinion. Alright, let's look at the... Uh, I don't need elbow pads. I need, I need gloves. I need... What do I want? I, uh, maybe there's some fingerless gloves. Or I can just go for straight blue glove. Taped fingers? Mm, I kind of like the taped finger look. That's just straight taped fingers, though. Skeleton hand. His wedding ring. Oh, the Mandarin. I can make him the Mandarin. Let's see. Mm, I think I'm going to go... I think I'm going to go with this. This or I don't know. I kind of like I kind of like the, the 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 fingers being taped for some reason too, as well as the hand tape. 
Are you sure you want to default the selection? Oh no, I thought I went to decision. I was like, wait, what did I do? So now we gotta get, I think what I'll do is that hand will have the fingers taped and the other hand, yeah, we'll just do that. And I don't really know what fingers means, but I guess I changed how his fingers looked. So that look, that's looking pretty good. I'll go with that. Can I let me see something real quick in base? So I'm changing his body type, but it's not really it's not really doing anything. That looks kind of like bigger man boobies, so that's good enough for me. Don't need a vest. Don't need. Don't need anything else in here. So let's uh. Let's go to your skin. What can I? What kind of skin can we have? I, was, I wasn't aware there was any other types of skin than just skin. No, I don't want to look muscular. That's that's not what I'm aiming for. That looks like really hairy legs. I'll take that. That looks like really, really hairy legs. Well, that, eh, I'm going to put pants on them so it won't matter, but... Alright, let's get some tights on. No, no. Mm, close. I'm looking for... Looking for something that... I could, I could do these and see if I could find some white boots. So we'll keep that in mind. But I'm looking for something... Oh, camo. Mmm, it's more army, but what says America more? We'll keep that in mind, too. Like, I'm looking for just, like, straight American flag, though. You know, he's a he's a true patriot. I mean, <laughs> I guess as much as a made-up wrestler could be, he is a true patriot. Oh, if I can't find anything, I think I'm going to go with those camo pants. I give them skeleton pants. Yeah, we're gonna go with the uh where'd they go? Was it like somewhere in the fourteens? Oh yeah. Those camo pants. I think if I want to. Here we go. Even better than them being camo pants? Camo capris. That's right. He doesn't care. Where okay, feet. I don't need socks. Socks are for losers. Man, there must be a lot to load in shoes. White sneakers? Nah. Oh, wait. Kind of looks like blue with a star. Oh, I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen this person at Walmart. It, it would, that would not surprise me in the least. Oh, yeah, look at... Boots for days! Boots for days. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna narrow down his boots a little bit. We're gonna leave just that just that little bit there we go. Just so you can kind of admire the hair on his legs. Just a little bit. He wasn't buying Cheetos and ammo, alright? He was buying freedom. Freedom. Captain Hooker, whoa! Whoa dude. It's not Captain Hooker. He's Captain Man of the Night. Who we can find on the corner and spend time and money with. All right. Now let's see if I can make him disproportionately huge. Hopefully, yes, yes. This is beautiful. Oh, I want. I want to see his hair now. Yes, it's. Oh yes, yes. This his hair is even more majestic. Than it was before. All right, I like his huge head. Uh, I'm not really gonna make um. I don't, I don't think I'm gonna change his height much. Let's see. Check. Yeah, we gotta. Oh, that's as, that's as wide as I can make the chest. Hmm, it's a little disappointing. I was hoping to make him a little, a little weirder. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Full beer belly. That is that is as beer belly as we're gonna get him, I think. 
And I'm not gonna even, I'm not gonna make his uh, waist bigger because those pants, those pants are constricting everything. So it's almost like a girdle. I'm gonna give him some big hands though. Cause you know what they say about a man with big hands. He grabs things easier because his hands are large. I wasn't gonna do this, but I think it'll be funnier. So what we're gonna do is <laughs> this this poor poor man. Oh wait, that's done. Can I his forearms? Now, here we go. Oh, he slaps incredibly well. He slaps so well. He literally slaps the taste out of your mouth. You will never eat the same again. You just can't. It's impossible. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He uh, he got liposuction. Did not go well. And now that his arms are really thin, that red, white, and blue, the, the design doesn't really matter anymore. Because you know the colors there. And that's what's important. The lower body. <laughs> the waist? No, we're going to leave the waist the way it is. In fact... Oh, yeah. Yes, that's where all the Cheetos go. All of the Cheetos go right in there. Oh, I already did the thighs. Whoops. Let's see. Ankles and feet, we're going to leave the same. <laughs> true terror. I don't know if this is true terror, but it's definitely uh, it's definitely up there. I think I actually have to... Uh, I think I actually have to narrow these a little bit. Because... The oh, jeez, <laughs> how does this man stand? We're going to... Uh, oh, oh, that looks... That literally looks like the worst thing that could happen to a person. But he's like he's like a woman when they go <laughs> when they go to the shoe store. I am clearly a size four. I am very clearly a size four. You can tell by looking at my feet. I did not mean to get that close to his uh his region there. I'm going to call that a region because I don't know what is in that area. So okay. We're, um, this is a beautiful man. We can either make him the tallest man in all of existence, which is not really going to help his situation at all, or we can make him the mighty dwarf. What's the average height in America? 5'10"? So... Make, okay, so if... That's the tallest, and that's the shortest, then the average, I know you would be like, well, the average is right in the middle, but that's the, like, literal middle, so the average is probably going to be right around here. So he's a little shorter than what he started at, but is that really a problem? Because I don't think it's a problem. Decision. Uh, let's see. What else do we have here? Weapons. The ringed bell. A bell ham... Is, is it? No, there's nothing here. Uh, piped chair. Duh. Because he likes to sit. <laughs> Decision. Uh, his name? Any pro... Oh, God. Where? Here we go. Backspace. This... Whereas, uh, Miss America is a, uh, beautiful contest to decide who's the most beautiful woman in the world. Or at least America, I guess that would be Miss Universe or whatever. Mr. America is your average American. Oh, he's a man. He's all man. There's no, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, I don't think there's, I don't think there's made up music in this game. I think it's all, yeah, it's all just the licensed character music. Um, oh, okay, I already know who to pick. Duh, I'm stupid, why is that even a... It all makes sense once this guy comes out. Uh, let's see, my signs? Gosh, there's so much you can do in this game. 
Uh, no, he's not gonna use Japanese characters. He's American. He doesn't have any face paint. There you go. Uh... America is only a portion of the world, okay? Get the ladder, because he has a roofing company. It's what he does outside of the ring. All these are the license signs. Isn't there just like... Okay, that's a Kurt Angle sign. I lie about everything, alright? My, my name might not even be Adam. That might... It might that might be lies. Everything is lies. No, he's not Mr. Ass. That's someone else. <laughs> Gerald Briscoe. Where is? I swear there's just random signs in here. I'm sorry. I I did not mean to have a stream to destroy your world. I promise, I promise by the end of everything, you'll be okay. Everything will work out in the long run. He doesn't believe in smoking. That is one thing that he truly does not believe in. Ugh, I think for the last sign, I'm just gonna pick something random. I'm, I'm not that great a tactician. Oh, wait, I know what I'll do. Since I was talking about him this whole time, we're gonna go ahead and pick a Jerry Lawler as my last sign. Enter yes comments. Um, he says yes. No, he does not say yes. He says... Fur... Do we have... Yeah. Okay, gotta go back. Whenever he says yeah... Wait, did I... Dang on, I got a backspace. Okay, he says... Oh no, I didn't... Oh, God, I'm stupid. I'm not paying any attention to what I'm doing here. Fur. No, that's wrong. That's wrong. For, for anybody who watches this stream on my channel, I just wanna just wanna apologize for this portion. I'm sure I'm sure watching this is the most exciting part. Let's see. Enter no comments. Uh no. No, it's, uh, no. Here's where, here's where I'm going to sound really stupid. I before E. No commies? Hey, you know what? You know what? I like that more. I was going to say no foreigners, but, uh, I kind of like no commies more. Not, I don't, I don't think it's as relevant as it was back in the, uh, 80s, but... This is, this is Mr. America. Do you really think he has any relevance? Oh, clearly. Clearly he's a light heavyweight. No, he, he is a heavy. He is a heavy. I think if you put light heavyweight, it actually uh, kind of stops. It messes with your stuff. This superstar doesn't have anything. Oh. Oh, I know what this stuff is. This is like... I can choose if I want to be friends with certain people, or after, I think after I've played the game and unlock stuff, it's like, he's great at hardcore matches, he's great at ladder matches. Alright, let's get through all the crap where I'm on good terms and bad terms with people. I don't really care about all that crap. I'm going to be on bad terms with Triple H, because maybe that way I can, like, get involved into a storyline quicker. Oh, wait, 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 I do need to go up. Because I haven't, I haven't unlocked anything. I can always come back and edit this in the future once there's uh, unlocks. But I'm on bad terms with Triple H. I'm on good terms with Kurt Angle. Um, I'm great. I'm great in hardcore matches. I wish there was a quicker way to do this. But there isn't. You think... Well, I guess this was before they really started thinking about character creation stuff. You think you'd be able to press, like, R1 or R2 to, like, cycle down faster. He is absolutely amazing in Hell in the Cell matches. And, uh, what else? What else? America. 
So he's he's good at the. I forgot what I already chose. It's irrelevant. Hates Triple H. Uh, categories. Yeah, I I definitely agree. So he's great at Hell in the Cell. He's great at Hardcore. And I guess he should be great in single matches because that's probably what I'm gonna get stuck in a lot of. Okay, now power. I'm gonna put. I think. I think once you do stuff, you can kind of come back and add points. But I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'm, he's not. Well, look at this man. Do you really think he's gonna be speedy? Let's give him some speed defense and some speed attack, and that's about it. Technique, I think I want to get up there because I feel like this is what gives him the ability to have better attacks and stuff. Been so long. Roughneck? Heck yeah, he's a roughneck. He's not just a roughneck, he's a redneck. He's he's whatever neck you want him to be. Give him some uh give him some good defense there. I think we're gonna go back into power. I thought there was more categories to choose from so we're gonna definitely bump up his attack bump up his defense so he's a tough guy he's he's slow he's slow and we can deal with that can I, can I put anything in here to okay no back I don't think I think I'm gonna take out the technique and put it into the defense and then with my two points that are left, we'll start leveling that. I, again, it's been so long since I played this. I feel like once you do stuff, you can kind of go back and change it, but we'll find out. We're going to go with the powerful move set. I'm not going to... His logic... Logic 1 is attack, logic 2 is grapple. It's good enough for me. He is now listed in others in the rankings. Oh, that's good. Okay, we're going to save that. I think the only thing I'm going to do real quick is... I think I can edit moveset, and I just want to like pick his finisher. That's all I really care about. Yes, I want to save the data. I do not want to miss or lose out on everything I just did with Mr. America. It's like with my luck, I was waiting for the whole stream to just kind of like crap out. Oh, I have dropped frames? I wonder when it was dropping frames. It doesn't seem like it was doing anything bad. I mean, it's <laughs> I've dropped less than 1% of frames, so can't be that bad. Can't be that bad. Mr. America, yes, he is the one I wish to edit. Uh, special, I think. Special move. Yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Powerful tombstone, last drive, neck breaker. Can I? Ah, here's how you do it. Super power bomb. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Quit dropping my frames. I need those frames. If you're going to be dropping my frames, get out. I don't need that kind of pressure. Oh, that's not what I thought that was. No, we're not going to dive. <laughs> the last ride. You know, you know what? I, I am going to go with the super power bomb. My favorite move? What's the choke toss? Can I can I see what the choke toss is before? Oh yeah, I like that. I don't know if that's my favorite move, but uh, it's definitely not a bad move. That's good enough for me. I just didn't want to have whatever generic finisher they gave my guy. I wanted it to be a little bit, a little bit better. Because it's the super power bomb where he throws a man around. 
basically I just throw it get out of my country. It's funny how basically when everybody thinks of like the most offensive voice you can do for America, it's always a very strong southern accent. <laughs> Which I'm from the South, so I take offense to that. We don't all talk like that. We we also do love bombs in America. That is that that was a uh, that was an unintentional selection there. So well played, well played indeed. New game. Enter created superstar. Yeah. That's it. I have to go through all that to go to decision. Uh, one player. I used to play this game with my cousin, and we would, uh, we made our own, like, groups, and we used to just play this game for hours on end. We probably played close to 25, 30 seasons. Alright. What match am I in? I don't think I'm in any of the matches. Next match. Skip this one. I'm not in it. Ugh. We have to. We have to actually watch the matches be simulated. Bull Buchanan beat Kane. That is bull crap. Gangrel versus Edge. At the height of the popularity of the Brood, Edge should win this, of course. Considering once the Brood broke up, Edge, or uh, rather, Gangrel, kind of faded into obscurity. Lita should win this. There's no reason she shouldn't. Oh, and Ivory won it. I never liked Ivory. I didn't really like a lot of the older Divas. I think I only liked Lita, Trish Stratus, and uh, Stacy Keebler when she came around later. Bradshaw versus Farouk. Oh no, Bradshaw and Farouk versus Seth and Albert. No one cares. No one cares. Oh, come on. The APA has to beat TNA. Thank you. Uh-oh. Something important happened after that match. What is it? Uh... You may have won tonight, but this is not over. Tonight was an accident. You just got lucky. That's all. <laughs> no, Michael Cole doesn't know what to say. Tess was very angry. Thanks. Thanks, game. This, I'm not slowed down enough getting to my match. Can you put in more cutscenes that don't involve me? I'd appreciate that. Why, of all the triple threat matches in the world, Scotty Too Hotty gets thrown in with two of the top tier wrestlers? That's stupid. I'm not in any of these events. What the crap? Is there any way to skip these faster then? This is, this is bull hockey. This is un, unfreaking acceptable. Oh, I forgot about China. I did like China. I like China because she was, uh, she was kind of a badass. She really was. She used to wrestle all the men. She's, I believe, the only, I don't, did I do something wrong? No, I, I'm, I am entered. For now. You know, let's just. Let's see him at his absolute best. What all? You know, let's put him in a King of the Ring tournament. What's a... Oh, I think I know what a special tournament is. One player. Oh, where is he? Where's Mr. America? There he is. Alright. I think all the matches in Anywhere Fall single match. I like it. This will give me a nice little uh, randomization of matches to play. Get ready for his entrance. It's going to be the greatest thing ever seeing this man. Oh. Well, enjoy the good father first. <laughs> Now here he comes. He's 
Yes. Alright, well, it's, it's Kurt Angle's opening, but... It's so America. Oh, I thought it was going to be longer than that. I wanted everybody to just kind of soak that in for a second. But, uh, it ended. It ended much faster than I anticipated. Just like this match is going to end much faster than the good father anticipates. I missed. I'm going to... I missed again. Oh, that... His beautiful flowing locks. I love it. Oh, yeah! Take my fist! Take my fist to your face! Uh, uh. Yes. Yes, I am destroying this man. Oh, pump handle slam? The Godfather was ill prepared for this match. Oh, I'm so powerful. My arms are so small, but I am so powerful. What else can I do? Slamming standing suplex? Oh, this is beautiful. And with those giant fists I have, I just murder your face. Murder your face. Okay, turn around, Godfather. Uh, he used to be the Godfather, but then he joined Right to Censor and became the Good Father. <laughs> which was the stupidest gimmick in the whole world. Oh, falls count anywhere, so the your rope doesn't matter break. There is no rope break. The only thing that's gonna break is your face. See? That's why I punched it. To prove a point. Man, I love that pump handle slam, man. It's my go-to move. Bulldog, let's see, what kind of, kind of aerial attack? Oh, that's a boring aerial attack. Go back to punching you in the face. Let's see. What? Oh, you got me. You got me with the swinging net breaker. And I got him on a good old-fashioned shoulder tackle. Right back to the face punching. Almost have enough for a super move. But okay, I think what we're gonna do is uh, this is a this is a go anywhere match. So that's what we gotta do. We gotta go anywhere. Let's see if I can remember how to do it though. Right now, I can, there we go. There we go. Now I think we're fighting on the entry ramp. Okay, yes we are. Oh, that would hurt so much. Having your legs slammed in the cold steel of the entryway there. Throw him off! Throw him off! Dang it! Can I throw him off? I don't know if I can position this right. Oh no! Ooh, standard power bomb. That would suck. Scoop slam? Nope. How did I do that? Okay. Oh, a spiked power driver. Now get off, get off, get off. There we go. I couldn't remember how to get off. I don't want to. I don't want to win that quickly. I want to do something cool. I want to do at least one or two cool things before this ends. Oh, that would hurt. Get up. We're not done with Good Father yet. I've been I've been denying these people of wrestling matches for so long. That we're not gonna we're not gonna end the match that quickly. No. Oh, another spiked pile driver. This man is dead. He is literally there is no life left in his body. Let's see if I okay. He's gonna turn yes. Walk close no, I think I spun too much. Dang it. Uh, the spinning of that sucks, because it requires you to be in such a specific way then. Alright, let's see if I can. See if I can get him over here. Come on. <laughs> or he just walks off himself. That's fine. Get up here, dude. Yeah! For America! Alright, get up. Can't do it from that angle, huh? Backbreaker? Nice backbreaker. I wanna... I wanna do... I'm gonna break your spine some more. Like, I understand... Uh, you know what? We're just gonna go. I hit you with something really high impact. You, you get up immediately. I punch you, and you're like, eh, I guess I can uh, stay down for a while. Come on, there we go. There we go. Going a little further backstage. See, uh, see where all, see where all I can go. I think I'm in the lobby area now, because when they walked through the curtain, you know, they were just standing in a lobby. Ah, oh, so many places to go. Let's go upstairs. 
Let's go upstairs. No, what are you doing? Let's go upstairs, good father. Listen, we're putting on a show for these people, all right? They don't want to see us go back to the ring. Boring. It's a, it's a false count anywhere match. So that's where we're going to go. We're going to go anywhere. Ooh, nice Samoan drop. Caught me off guard. Locker room, dressing room. I think I can throw him into the uh, machine here. Yes! No, get up! Can I go into the VIP room? I don't think there's anything really cool I can do in there, but we'll find out. Ugh, you have to stand on such specific spots to, to like, activate it. Have a drink! That was some Stacker too, which was the big sponsor at the time. Come on, yeah, let's go into the VIP room. See if we can sit into a nice, just sit in a nice chair. Relax for a couple of minutes. Oh yeah, time to, can I pick up, can't pick up the furniture. I can't, this is stupid. I could have swore there was more cool stuff I could have done. Well, you know what, I'm gonna pick you up. We're done, we're done with this match. I'm gonna throw you across the room. Now we're gonna pin you. I make my way all the way back to the ring to celebrate. That was for America, everyone. America. We're gonna go ahead and skip. I have a feeling my opponent's gonna be stone cold. Although it's a cage match. So you never know. You never know who... Oh, I knew it. I'll say Stone Cold couldn't beat Big Boss Man. It was sad enough he lost to Bull Buchanan. So I'm going to give this match to Bull Buchanan. Let's see what happens. Nope, Farouk. So Bull Buchanan beats the best of the best in the WWF. But, oh, Bubba Ray versus Devon? Oh. what a, That would actually be an interesting match. An I quit match? It should have been a table match. It was going to be them. So it's the beer swilling, loud mouth versus Stone Cold. Uh, see what I see what I did there? Because Stone Cold's known for all those things, but not this time. No, not this time. Now Mr. America is known for those things. The two biggest stars in the WWF, Mr. America and Stone Cold. This is WrestleMania levels right here. It's it's, it's the best thing ever. See the flag in the background, that really patriotic music. What could be better? What could be better for Mr. America? Stone Cold, your head is so liney and weird looking. You look so angry. Stone Cold was pretty much in a perpetual state of anger though. So I guess that makes sense. All right, so since this is a ladder match, does that mean there's a belt hanging from the ceiling? Yep, the belt is hanging from the ceiling. I can see the shadow. Where is, as I slowly get out of the ring, where is the ladder though? Oh, good lord, the ladder's all the way on the other side of the ring. I could not have gone a longer way to get the ladder. Stone Cold, no, no Stone Cold, bad Stone Cold. Get away from me. All I want to do is get into the ring and set the ladder up. That's all I'm trying to do. You're over here getting all uppity about stuff. Oh, oh, the ladder's on top of me. Get up. Get up, Mr. America. You need to climb the corporate ladder. Yeah, he'll get up. That's a pin move. That was... Maybe I do need to go in. Maybe off, off stream, off camera, I'll uh, set up his moves a little differently. Because I don't particularly care for some of the moves he has. Don't get me wrong, I like I like the big splash and stuff like that. Especially on a big fat dude like this, they're it's funny looking. But a lot of these moves I'm not a huge fan of. Like I don't I guess I do need at least one or two submission moves. 
because I will be in I Quit matches at some point, I imagine. But, you know, like that big splash to pin, I hate those moves. Especially if they put you into a match like this where it just doesn't help you at all. Because as soon as they're pinned, they just get up. Because that's how the mechanic works, unfortunately. Whoa, whoa. I was like, wow, he is he is going for that belt already. Even I'm not going for the belt yet. It's like I'm just I'm just trying to get trying to get everything set up here. See like that. Like I don't need a roll up pin. That's just stupid. It doesn't even fit my character style. I'm a big guy who's threatening people. So why am I doing a like uh schoolboy? Doesn't make any sense. How do I Ugh, I fell off the ladder. No, Stone Cold. Y you will also fall off the ladder. Oh yeah, the Rikishi fat butt drop. Boom! Bringing the boom on the Stone Cold. And the Luthrez press with the punches. It's one of my favorite moves in this game. I don't know why. It's so stupid. It's, it's such a simple, like, not even really move move. But it's so fun to do. Especially when your opponent isn't ready for it. Okay. I don't know how beat up Stone Cold is, though. Because I said way, 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 way back earlier in the stream that the, uh, there was no, like, body targeting or anything. Get out of my ring, son. No, get, climb the ring. And get the, uh! Alright, Mr. America, that was your best chance to get the belt. I hope you're happy with yourself. Because you messed it up. You messed up your opportunity to win. Hope you're happy. No, I'm bro No, no. He's gonna. T I knew it. I knew he was gonna take the ladder down. Okay. Oh. Oh, there's no even hanging from it. In some of the newer games, you have to hang from it and grab it and bring it down. Oh, Mr. America is well on his way to being the next king of the ring. He will bring the belt back and the title back. To the people of America. And not north or south, just United States of. He's very patriotic. He doesn't want to share it with other continents that just happen to have the word America in it. Bubba Ray Dudley versus Mr. America. Please be a tables match. And see, this is exactly what I was talking about. Like, I need the submission holds for I quit matches. At least those in case they pop up. Which, in this case, guess what? It popped up. Excuse me. I've been drinking some carbonated beverages. So I got a little a little burpy there. I apologize. I think you have to make them submit in the ring. I don't like to interrupt Mr. America's entrance. It's, it's very patriotic and beautiful. The Dudley boys. Bubba Ray Dudley. Getting ready to bring the smack down to Mr. America. But what he doesn't know... What he doesn't know... Is I'm already prepared for him. I'm prepared to fight this man to a standstill. And as he's standing still... I will break his spine. Oh, that was stupid. I thought I did the the Luthez press one. So it's a oh, it's a falls count anywhere I quit match. I like it. <laughs> I uh gonna go ahead and just fall down. Oh no, he's got the mic. He wants to tell me things. I guess. Can I? Throw them through the announcer table and stuff? I can't remember. Oh, I think I can. Come on, Bubba Ray. Ow! Through the table I go. Did you just threaten me? Did you just threaten me with that? I can't I can't reach you over there. Come on. Come on, what? What are you scared? Get over here. Just throw you through the steps. That's how powerful I am. I'm so strong I can make you phase through solid objects. I can't remember if the uh, the punch is considered a uh, submission move. I feel like in at least one of the games, the punch is considered a submission move. 
I just can't remember which one. Wait, is that a... It's been so long since I've done the movesets and stuff. I think that even the directional buttons in other directions... Like, most for, for most, like, grapple moves, it's circle with up, down, left, or right. But it's looking like, and I didn't remember this if this is true, it's looking like you can also push, like, down and right at the same time, or down and left, and it's opening additional moves. Can I... Okay, I don't think this is one of the games where you can uh, look under the ring for... Yeah, I was trying to see if this was one of the games where you could look under the ring for a weapon of some sort. And unfortunately, it's not. Yeah, I don't have a lot of technical proficiency, so making making somebody submit is probably going to probably gonna take quite a bit of work. Unless I'm just murdering him in the face, then it may not matter. Boom! Yeah, so much face murdering. That was a high impact move right there. He ran into me while I ran into him to land on top of him and punch him in the face. Oh, this is gonna take. It's gonna take so long, isn't it, Bubble Ray? You're just gonna make this take an unnecessary long amount of time. Just quit. Just quit. That's all you have to do. Just tap out, man. Just tap out. Mainly, I'm just coming up here so I can... What, what, what you want to go some? Really? The first thing you do is find a freaking microphone again? Nobody cares. Nobody wants to hear you talk. Everything you have to say is pretty irrelevant. Ooh. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. You can hold the microphone, and then... It's like, yeah? Oh! Right! Oh, gosh. It's been so freaking long. You actually... You don't make them quit by uh, actually doing submission moves, you make them quit by getting on the mic and then making them say I quit. I completely forgot about that. Thanks, Bubba Ray, I appreciate that. I would have, this match would have never ended if it weren't for you. So I hope, I hope you're happy that you've brought about your own downfall. Can I, can you get up? I don't think, I don't think we're close enough to the edge here as I put you further away from the edge. So one of my moves, here we go. It'll put you a little bit forward. Do that a couple more times. It'll put you, should hopefully put you far enough forward. Oh yeah, that'll work. That'll work. Just throw you off the stage. Now I'll run off the stage. Get on top of you, you're gonna quit. You can't continue this match. knew it. I knew you couldn't take three power bombs up there plus one power bomb throwing you off the stage. Ah, Mr. America taking the wrestling world by storm when he actually gets to wrestle which isn't often in season mode. And by often, I mean ever. It never let me wrestle even once in season mode. But he is a King of the Ring winner now. I was a little concerned in that match with Stone Cold. Especially when he climbed the ladder. That could have been, uh... That could have been disastrous. What else can we do? What else? Hey, you know what? Royal Rumble. One player, since it's just me. Mr. Oh, okay. Well, I got a long road to hoe then. I'm the first entry into the Royal Rumble. This is, uh... I think I have to get through 30 other superstars in the WWE. So I gotta beat 29 other people. That's going to be... I don't know if he has the endurance. And I think the only person who has ever done that is Shawn Michaels. But I should be able to uh, get Tori out pretty quick. So this is what I said. This game, they kind of... They don't really care who's wrestling. They just kind of throw them all in at the same time. Mankind, definitely one of my... 
uh, top wrestlers of all time. Such a cool wrestler. Any guy that goes out there and just puts his body on the line is just pretty much top tier for me immediately. Guy gets thrown off the hell in a cell. Oh, it was crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. And I'm going to go straight for the woman. And I am about to be eliminated. Get off the ropes, Mr. America. Good lord. How do I change who... That's not what I wanted to do at all. How do I... Uh... Okay, so I'm looking... Oh, gosh. Okay, now I'm looking at Albert. That's fine. I just need to know who I was looking at. Maybe I need to turn on player indicators or something. And Tori was the first to go. I figured as much. Nice pin, bro. It's the Royal Rumble. You can't pin people. Okay, who's next? Who's next? All oh, the awesome days of PlayStation 1. God, this would be the worst Royal Rumble ever. It's like, oh, the first four entries is a nobody, mankind... Corey and Albert and it's like next up Shane McMahon who would even care okay we've heard your entrance long enough we get it we get it you came in after everybody else no 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 oh I think what I'm gonna do then is because, like I said, I don't know why my internet's being crap all of a sudden. Uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream. We made a wrestler, we started a season mode, and... we did some fun stuff. My, my internet's come back up, but... it's bouncing all over the place. It's hovering really low for some reason. I don't really know why. So... Anyways, I hope you enjoyed the stream. I don't know the next time I'm going to stream. Keep an eye out on Twitter, which you can follow me on Twitter at NTTF underscore show. Uh, keep a lookout. I might start putting updates on the YouTube channel, which I might actually reach more people that way instead of assuming that people are going to see my Twitter feed. So, you know, maybe I'll put up a video being like, hey, this Saturday I'm going to be streaming. Come check out my stream. Or, hey, I'm going to be streaming Tuesday night. You know, something. I don't have a schedule yet. Uh, but uh, if you are watching right now, I'm hoping to have a video out today, January 31st. Uh, if you're watching this way in the future, that video is already out. I got some work to do on it. Hopefully it'll be up in the next three, four hours or so. So, yeah, thanks for coming out to the stream. And I will see all of you later.